Hey parents, uh, your children in second grade are currently learning about sound. So I want to talk about a really easy experiment uh, to kind of demonstrate the principle. Uh, the principle being, of course, that uh, to create sound, really what's happening is the molecules in the air are vibrating. So when I'm speaking right now, my larynx is causing the vibration of the molecules, which comes out in an invisible wave and hits your eardrum, which causes that to vibrate, which in turn causes an electrical signal to go to your brain, and you're hearing me. So to have kids kind of experiment with vibration, uh, this is exactly what it looks like. Mine's a little too short, but it's all the string I had. Uh, this is kind of cool. It's been around for a while because it works. Um, what happens is when you talk into one end of this, and the other person listens to it, uh, the string in between will vibrate and transmit the sound of your voice from one end to the other. It actually does work. It's pretty neat. Uh, what you can do with your kids is make one of these, um, it's easy, two plastic cups, string, I just tied a knot here, big one, comes through. Um, my suggestion, cut, I don't know, maybe a, a string that's 5 feet, maybe one that's 10 feet, maybe one that's 15 feet, and let kids experiment. Um, let them think of a code word. Just say the code word and you hear and their friend, or sibling, or you uh, can see if they can figure out what that code word is. Uh, see if they can start with the small, the medium, and the large. And really, just talk to them about how this string is vibrating. And it works much better if it's pulled tight. If it's loose, that vibration kind of gets muddled. And also, going around corners and things, if this is pressing against a corner of a wall, that vibration's gonna be kind of muted. And you can actually use them, uh, well, have them experiment with it. Um, have them go around the, the side of a wall and talk about why all of a sudden this isn't working anymore. See if they can tell you that the vibrations aren't able to travel on the string anymore. Um, I'm kind of talking a lot, but I also made an agreement with myself not to edit this video. So uh, make one of these at home. Teach your kids about sound being vibration and let them experiment. If you have any questions, uh, jcram at wcpss.net. Um, if there's anything in this video I didn't cover, please let me know and I'll make a new video. So thank you guys for spending time with your kids and uh, have a good Wednesday.